A fabric filter has a pressure loss of 6 inches of water and a flow of 10,000 cubic feet per minute. The power required to drive the fan, if the fan's efficiency is 70%, is most nearly A. 10,000 B. 9,000 C. 8,000 or D. 7,000 Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will discuss work in power. The quantity work has to do with a force causing a displacement. Work has nothing to do with the amount of time that this force acts to cause the displacement. In the case of work and also energy, the standard metric unit is the joule. One joule is equivalent to one newton of force causing a displacement of one meter. The quantity that has to do with the rate at which a certain amount of work is done is known as power, which is the rate of doing work, or the amount of energy transfer per unit time. The SI unit of power is the watt, which is equal to one joule per second. Power is consumed by equipment such as pumps, fans, or compressors in order to move and increase the pressure of a fluid or air. The power requirement of the pump depends on a number of factors, including the pump's efficiency and the differential pressure and the density, viscosity, and flow rate of the fluid or air. So in this problem, we are looking to calculate the power needed to drive this fan that is operating at 70% efficiency. We know that work is force times distance, having the units of joules, or one newton of force causing a displacement of one meter. And power is work per unit time, with units of joules per second, which is equal to the units of watts. We have the pressure drop, the effect of a force applied to a surface, which equals 1500 pascals. A pascal is defined as the force of one newton per square meter. We also have the flow rate, which is 10,000 cubic feet per minute, or equal to 4.72 cubic meters per second. We can multiply the pressure drop by the flow rate to get units of newton meter per second, which equals the units of watts. We do this and we get 7,080 watts as the energy needed to drive the fan. However, the fan is only 70% efficient, so we must account for the extra energy needed for this lack in efficiency. We do this by dividing the power requirement by 0.7 to get the actual power needed to drive this fan. We do this and we get an answer of 10,114 watts, which is closest to A. Join us for episode 52 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.